So, what's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to YouTube Programming with us TV. We're going to continue, of course, with the Framework 7 series that we start, started earlier on, okay? In the earlier episodes, I've showed you guys, of course, how to install and then, of course, how to download and install Framework 7, how to make a Hello World app. We also saw, of course, the dialogues, all right? Now, today, we're going to see how to work with the calendar. Of course, using the calendar, we can easily get and set dates right there. And then, of course, use them in our app. First, of course, I'm also going to show you guys how we can, of course, uh, set dates using the calendar as well as uh, programmatically, of course, using JavaScript uh, date objects, right? So that's the purpose of this particular tutorial. And you can see, enter launch date. I come click it. It's going to show us this nice dialog. Now, Framework 7, by the as we had said earlier on, is a full-featured HTML5 framework, mainly for developing either iOS or Android apps. Today, we're going to target Android. As you guys can see, we're using this material design theme right here, okay? So, we can go ahead, set the date right here, you can see. If we come click get date, we're able to retrieve that particular uh, date. We can also go ahead, of course, and uh, set multiple dates right here. Then of course, if we come right here, you can see them. If we call get great dates, we're able to retrieve them and then of course show them in our model read. So that's of course our uh, setting dates right here via the calendar. We can also set date programmatically, of course using JavaScript and date objects. For instance, I come right here. I've created a uh, three date objects right here. You can see and then of course set them in my framework 7 uh, uh, date section right here if i come call get dates you can see we're able to retrieve those ones basically we're working of course with the calendar right here to get and set dates so welcome get started so the very first task of course is to go ahead and create our framework 7 app of course you can see in my app right here i'm having this particular assets folder my assets folder is going to contain three more directories. We're going to have the CSS directory where we're actually going to add our CSS files. Okay. In the IMG uh, directory, we'll be having our images. Then, of course, in the JS directory, we're going to have our JavaScript files. All right. So, among our JavaScript files, we're going to have the main.js where we're actually going to write our custom our JavaScript code. Let's go ahead and start with our HTML markup right here in the index.html. The first thing, of course, is to specify our doc type, which, of course, is the HTML right here. We open the HTML tag, then close it. Open the header tag, close it. Open the body, then, of course, close it. Then, of course, we come right here in the meta attributes. We're going to specify our metadata. The first one, of course, is going to be the car set. That is the encoding that we're going to use for this particular HTML document. In this case, it's going to be the UTF-8. Then, of course, we add more metadata. Now, one thing about metadata is that they don't... Actually, they'll get processed by the browser, yet they don't affect the user interface. Read. Then, of course, we come right here. We specify the title of the site. Then, of course, we proceed on and reference our framework 7 um, files we're using as we had said we're using the material design uh, right here you guys can see so we're going to go ahead and then reference first materialize no material.min.css material.colors.min those two are framework 7 files in case if you prefer to target the ios devices then of course you'll go ahead and then uh, reference the material uh, framework 7 to iOS read once we've done that one then of course let's come and then reference our scripts as well so for the scripts first we're going to have the assets slash js framework 7 dot min dot js this of course is our framework 7 a uh, javascript file this is how we're going to reference it then of course we come a uh, reference our main dot js now we're referencing these particular scripts is important that you have them in the right order okay because the browser will actually load uh, your scripts sequentially so first go ahead reference the framework 7 
files first and then reference the main.js because actually the main.js is actually going to make use of framework 7 or it so i'll do that one then of course we come inside our div we give it class views now for our views we're going to have one view called the view main which is our main view so for the, our main view first of course you guys can see of course the structure of our view right here first of course we have the nav bar which is our navigation bar then of course we have the content section then of course lastly we have the bottom two bar okay so that's of course uh, the structure of our view main we come first we're going to add our nav bar right here as you guys can see then of course we come we define the content section of our site of our app so we come right here we're going to say of course data page the data page attribute we're going to give it the index the class of course is the page right there then of course we add our content so first of course we're going to specify the content block title the content block then of course we come we add of course our calendar right here okay so for the calendar let's come create a div right here with the class item input then of course the input type of course is text now this is what the user is actually are uh, going when the user clicks this is what we're going to render of course the selected date once the user has selected the date from the calendar we're going to render it inside this particular input text read then of course uh, below it we're going to have the two buttons uh, get date and then of course set date you can see the buttons right there read so in short when clicked of course we're going to be referencing them from our javascript uh, uh, right there then of course when get date is called we're going to get the date set date we're going to programmatically set our dates so that will do for us of course lastly we're going to have our bottom a toolbar okay with two links the home and then about us so does it guys this of course is our index.html right here next let's move over of course to our main.js file so this one right here of course is our main.js is our javascript file of course it's a custom javascript file right here so of course for our javascript we're actually going to work with javascript in an object oriented manner right so the first thing of course we're going to create a class this is one of the many ways in which you can create a class in javascript right here we have this var we're calling it main class then of course you assign it an anonymous function so inside the function this is what we're going to encapsulate of course our class contents okay so for us in the first the first thing that we're going to do is of course to initialize our framework 7 then of course select uh, export our selector engine to initialize framework 7 we come we're going to initialize it and then hold it inside this my app variable so var my app equal to new framework 7 you are simply holding instantiating the framework 7 then of course holding that particular instance in our my app our variable next of course by the framework 7 i usually comes with this one uh, selector engine okay dom selector engine right here called dom 7 that you can use of course to manipulate uh, your dom is actually quite similar to jquery of course in terms of syntax so what we're going to do room 7 right here we are exporting it of course to this particular a uh, double dollar sign variable uh, we're going to use it uh, that to of course uh, select our dom elements then of course we come we're going to create a simple method or a simple function that's actually going of course to initialize our app for us so come right here this dot initial is up equal to function the first thing of course is that we need of course our calendar instance remember of course in our framework 7 app right here we are working of course with the calendar you can see our calendar right here okay so we need to obtain its instance so to obtain its instance we're going to get it from our framework 7 instance so our calendar equal to my app dot calendar then of course we're going to pass in uh, optional uh, parameters right here like for instance input of course 
and then of course we pass in the calendar id right there that is the input uh, element we are going to actually render the calendar you can see it right here m calendar id all right so when clicked when that particular input text is clicked we're going to of course open the calendar and then also uh when the user selects a cause of value a date from the calendar we're going to render that particular date inside that particular input text element then of course a uh, multiple to true what do we mean by this uh, statement well what we mean is that the user is able to set multiple dates as you guys can see uh, right here okay from the calendar the user can choose a uh, multiple dates so if you don't if you only want the user to be able to choose one date of course we're going to have this one as false then of course a date format right here you can customize the date format okay we're going to show the uh, date okay the day the month then of course the year as you guys can see right there so that's our date format then of course now we are going to select our get date our button then we call the on function we're going to pass in two parameters the first one is the event that you are handling which is in this case of course is the click event then of course the second parameter is going to be of course our callback function okay that is basically the function that will get called when that particular click event is made so in our case this particular function of course is anonymous it's a callback function when clicked this is what we're going to do my app dot alert calendar dot value okay my calendar dot value so we're going to obtain of course the value of the calendar then of course display it in our alert our model that's how we're going to get the date what about setting the date well when the set date button is clicked will come right here first we're going to programmatically create our dates of course to create date in javascript we just pass in a date object right here okay you instantiate the date so we are going to have right here multiple dates in an array so this is an array of dates so new date then of course we pass in the date right there so we're going to have a date instances inside this particular dates array okay then of course my calendar dot set value then of course we pass in the dates array so those particular values of course will get set in our calendar so once we've done that one then let's go on and then instantiate right here of course our main class m equal to new main class then m dot initial is up right then of course with that one let's run the project and see our result so of course if we run the project this is what we're going to get right here first you can see enter launch dates right here i click it then our nice calendar will get displayed for us we can proceed on and then of course they choose our launch date right here or of course we can go ahead and then add our multiple dates then of course if we come click get date we're able to retrieve those particular dates then of course if we click set date then of course we can add set our dates programmatically then of course obtain them all right here okay so does it give does it this is what of course i have looked at right here of course the calendar i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed the tour if you have liked the video share it also make sure you give subscribe to our channel programming users tv so that you don't miss out in any of our classes also check our website campusha.info where we're actually going to leave the a link below for the source code take care i'll catch you in the next class